You know, I have to congratulate Disney. They managed to create, in a long while, one of the most culturally significant films that we have the privilege of talking about, which is Wish. Not because it was good, no, 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 but because of how much they fumbled when it comes to actually creating a good movie. There is so much unreleased content that has been coming out month after month after this movie has been released in terms of what the original concept of Wish was supposed to be like. And if you were like me, seeing any news in regards to what they were supposed to do, but that it didn't end up doing, it's, it, it's very infuriating to see. So today I'm going to be feeding into that anger a little bit and I will be reacting to some of the recently released behind the scenes, deleted scenes, from Wish, what should have been, what could have been, and what we deserved as audiences. This is one video that will be a compilation of all of the deleted scenes that they have come out and released recently, which are partially animated storyboard style animated clips. I get to watch these clips, but I'm assuming they will have hints of what they've talked about before, like Amaya being actually evil, Star having an actual like personality and can talk, and other more developed parts of the story that ended up getting axed. As a note, I will be talking over these clips. So if you are the type of person who doesn't like people reacting and actually commentating what we're watching, just be forewarned. If you do want to go and watch any of the clips that I am mentioning on your own, it will all be linked in the description. And so without further ado, let's watch what could have been with Wish. at Rosas. Star will need to be very discreet. Discreet? Got it. Sounds like another Okay. Thing. I'm getting pretty good at this part. Okay. So, oh my god, I'm so annoyed. I've already paused the video. It seems like we are actually getting, like I said, Star with a personality. This is so infuriating to know that this is what we could have had. Um, you know what might help that plan? If you weren't so bright. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. You meant oh. a little shiny, glowing, way too much light. Turn it down, turn it down. Oh. oh. Ooh. Better? Much. That's funny. Oh my god. Wait, who is this? Oh my god, who is this? Oh my god. Oh. Someone would pass through here. Is that a Maya? Not an evil cat, too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Remember the thing I just told you not to do. I'm going to need you to do it. I love just seeing Queen Amaya be evil. Oh my god, it's so good. Move this fast. I mean, their eyesight is trippy, but ah, uh, yeah, that's better. I wonder if I can go even. I feel like Wish is giving Wish. I feel like Star is giving like early Disney. I say early Disney when I I really mean like Renaissance Disney in terms of like that funny sidekick character, like the genie from Aladdin. I kind of like that. It's really funny. And Peep Asha being kind of sassy. Love that too. <laughs> Why would humans ever walk on two legs? This is so much easier. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, get up, run. I love that. <laughs> up we go. <laughs> I wonder what she's running from. Of course, we have no context, but like, I'm very curious what preceded this in the original story. <laughs> oh my God, it's the yarn ball from the movie, but it actually has a usage in this. Again, it is really giving like genie. Also peep those references. I think I saw Olaf there. <laughs> this is kind of reminding me of um i think it was the emperor's new groove yeah when they kept having those like vials and trying to like get an animal that would actually help them that's kind of what this is reminding me of too this is actually like you know how like wish was trying to be like a bunch of references to like older disney movies to commemorate their 100 years this actually feels like a good interpretation of their past movies in a good way. So versus what we got in the actual movie, of course. Yes, I love that. 
<laughs> I love like Star's playfulness. So that is the end of the first clip. Overall, just a million times better already seeing Star's really funny personality and how Asha is playing off of that and how she's a lot more sassy. Ah, it's so infuriating to see what we could have had. What we, I'm, I'm gonna keep saying what we were supposed to have. I feel like we were robbed and this is what we were supposed to actually have. And also Amaya being evil. I loved like just seeing how much character we saw within like just this one scene, you could tell that she would have just been such a cool villain. Like, oh my God. So let's go into the second scene. Sabino, I can't believe you stole Manuel's wish. Steal. So this is with Sabino. Me. Don't be so dramatic. Valentino, do I steal? <laughs> oh, shut up. Oh, so I the yarn is like Valentino's hey, little um, where... <gasps> vest. Oh, it's a wishing tree. What does it look like? It's a wishing tree. What's a wishing tree? It's kind of all in the name. You hang the fact that Asha on. doesn't know what it is. Oh, go to find them, and then us. No. Seems like she's they kind of the abandoned the father storyline. Okay. Which the original story really didn't do anything with anyway, so I would be okay with that. Um, Stars shine on them if they're locked away in some box. So. These are all the wishes from the Hamlet? I'm sorry, but this is too dangerous. We have to take them down. Long for danger, don't you, Asha? What? Hmm. I long for danger, right or wrong, and I will never give up this fight. You stole my journal, too. You need to stop accusing me of stealing. Give that to well, me. Show some respect. Ooh, I'm old. God. Sabino. Sabino has so much more character in this as well. Besides your knack for swearing, is realizing this undying hope you carry in you. Hope? What do I do with these? It's like a funny father wishes? figure. Must it take a the funny death elderly of a figure to live? I'm restless to see the light for anything that will allow us to thrive. Great. No one was ever supposed to read that. It's embarrassing and stupid. And it's right. It is eating you up inside. So? I'm young. I'll live. But I am not. I've had a wish since Dang. I was a boy. And it doesn't matter how many times I've written it down and hung it on this tree. It doesn't stop the pain, knowing it'll never come true. <coughs> Sabino! Oh, I'm okay. Give me a second. What? I just forgot to... I love the underlying... What can I do? Thing no, I do anything that else. um it seems that Magnifico isn't as loved by his people as it is, he is in this storyline compared to what we got because there was like that fear that Asha had when she was like what if Magnifico sees this kind of thing like why would she be fearful in the first place so I think that's kind of implied and that's really interesting you can stop Magnifico what I wouldn't even know where to start I just... No one should have to live and Ooh, die wait. without a chance to make Not him being the thing that like spurs that. It's very revolutionary. It's like revolutionary earlier on in the movie, which is what I wanted from the original because the whole revolutionary thing at the end felt way too sudden and random. And so <laughs> I love that it seems like it's more in the beginning. Like was just getting to the juicy parts. he was never, is it almost, wait, this might be over. Give me a second. I'm, I'm so bad at holding my thoughts, y'all. I'm so sorry. But I love that it seems like his descent, his dissenters are implied a lot earlier compared to in the original film where you had everyone basically on Magnifico's side until like the very, very end, everyone but Asha, of course. And so I really, really like that it seems like there's already this like disdain towards his rule that's implied earlier in the film. Um, so I really, really like that. It also seems like Sabino is a lot more of a proper like elder guide in this. In the original movie, it felt like Sabino was more of like just a figure that Asha admired and wanted to do everything in her power to appease and do stuff for. Not appease as in like, I want their approval, but more of like, I want this person's like dreams and aspirations to come through true because you know, they're just someone I care about versus Sabino actually kind of plays more of a role in this movie, more of a father figure role, which I really, really like. So let's go on to the third clip. I 
Oh, feel. we're in the tower now. My heart rumbles with such hunger. Oh my god. Amaya, darling! Did you hear me? I am impatient. I heard you. I'm coming. And they lucky for really, you, really were I'm going with this uh... good with a pair of tweezers. Is that a brag? Evil queen, <laughs> evil king right. plot. Fifty grains, no more, no less. Oh, it's so sad they didn't do it. Back. You are impressive. As I shine in your light. Tonight's the night, mm. my dear. Mm. Mm -hmm. We felt the underlying message there. I feel like. They're not as evil of a duo that they make themselves out to be. It seems like Amaya is more of the, you know, the brains. And the fact that she's seemingly content with, you know, being in his shadow. But we know that's never the case for these movies. But I love that there was probably going to be some sort of, like, development over time with Amaya's character in a bad way, in a villainous way. Amaya, glory will be mine. I love the evil cat too, by the way. It's so like dramatic. It's giving like old Renaissance Disney villain vibes, and I love it. Okay, it's okay. Careful, careful, Mire. You need again. Calm. Like she's the Calm. brains. Who's the more no. like? I can't take this. This immature villain. Satisfied. Oh. Uh oh. Well, what are you doing, Mire? Mire? Oh, not the wishes, Sweetheart, baby. Pookie, please do not devour the no, wishes. Pookie. <laughs> Just three Pookie. small wishes. Sorry. Who would notice? The cook who prepares your favorite venison, for one. That's his wish. There are other cooks. And your best guard. And please, <laughs> that one's my mother's. In that case. Be serious. <laughs> hmm. That's How funny. would you like the wishes of an entire Hamlet? You found the traitors? You may fortify yourself with as many of their wishes as you want. Mm -hmm. no Did she actually find notice. traitors? But that's an interesting side plot, traitors, hold on. There's a young man who takes his horse every month to collect mushrooms. He goes to the uncharted mm -hmm. forest all alone, riding through the night. It is said- I'm very curious if like this is actually like real room. or if there actually so is some sort of traitor he's plot. He's taking supplies to the last- Or if she's making this up. We'll find them. And or also, again, this is indicative of like their wishes entirely and forever. Magnifico being more evil and the people not liking him as much as the only woman worthy they did in the my queen. final product. Let's, be ready. Let's go catch some <laughs> traitors. <laughs> you did magnificently, don't I? Whoa! Again, um, the cat again is so funny. It's all in the arm and the bent knee. Oh, how's that? <laughs> Mm -hmm. How in love are they actually? Mm. Is the true question. Okay, that's the end of that one, I think. So my thoughts on that are I love that we still kind of have this like goofy villain because a lot of people are saying they really like Magnifico's character in the final product, which for me, I actually don't really have that much of an issue with Magnifico's character. I have an issue with his backstory and his intentions and like the development of his character. But in terms of his personality, I don't hate hate it but i love how in this they're still goofy but the plot and the goofiness go more in hands right like you have them dancing like sillyly and she gets all like you know what's the word for it dizzy um and it's like a funny moment but yet it really shows like their character and dynamic as a couple. I also really like how it seems like he's the more like childish, immature, just like ambitious villain that doesn't really think twice about his actions while she's more the brains behind the operation. So I really like that too. And it seems like she's the one who is more of like a witchy, like magic person versus he not as much because as you saw, like she was the one who made the potion, so. I'm assuming this will be the final video. And then after I do this, I'm gonna say my thoughts overall about this whole thing, because boy, do I have some thoughts.
Look out. Oh, have to do everything together? <laughs> Can I just say oh, so this is their friends now. Oh, whose breath is that? Gross, 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 gross. It looks like Star is like movie is star. Here. A little nice advice. Keep your ears open. Don't linger. And be smart. Don't leave any droppings behind. That's cute. Stop. What do you see? Don't push it! Over. Don't push it! <laughs> yes, it's definitely like movie star. The star has not talked at all. Oh. I knew it. Oh, is that a dungeon? I knew there was a cover up. Oh yep, yeah, sounds like it. Why do I think there would be like a jump scare there? <laughs> yeah. Saba! Where are they? Did something else happen to them? Fazino. It's Fazino. <gasps> oh, is that one of their that? friends? Oh my god. His wish I wonder what has happened. been destroyed. Oh, well, I guess that's what happened. I spoke it's too soon. okay. We're here to help. No, you can't be here. If Magnifico finds out, you'll end up like me. He's more powerful than we ever imagined. But he doesn't have a star helping him. Ooh. A star? Star with stars. Star powers. <sighs> Love that. A real star. Thank you. My wish was to. It seems magic. like people aren't surprised about Star. Until I saw the truth of him. But with a star, you might have a chance to break what his the truth? hold on the wishes. I feel like that is truth is different in all these animatics. Soul's coming. Hurry! Hurry! How are they planning on getting out of here? Not me invested in the plot of this thing that does not exist. Masha, what are you doing? Asha! Dishin! Oh my god. Dishin. She's okay. What, what are, are you, you doing, doing here? here? He sent me here to care for the ungrateful like me. Said oh. I don't deserve freedom after what we did. I like that. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, the ungrateful. He also said that because of my my weaknesses, oh. I'm a burden. No one would miss. And Magnifico, Magnifico is anti-disabled people. True villain, genuinely true villain, but I'd never be worthy of any wish. You were right about that him. That is not Asha. true, Queen. He's so. That cool. is not true. He underestimates you, and that's a good thing. It is. When you're underestimated. They don't see your power coming until after it's changed the world. That's true, like, Disney main character line right there. Oh, Thank Asha, you. I love that. Your mother and Saba were here, but Magnifico took them. I don't know where. There's more people over here. Everyone who is missing. We have to free them. <gasps> hey, we'll come back. Quick, run! It's her! Stop her! Hurry, hurry! Hey, I'm so invested. I'm, like, not even saying anything because I'm so invested in this compared to, like, the actual... <laughs> So much more compared to the actual story. Oh my god, it's giving like Sleeping Beauty. Not Sleeping Beauty, Beauty and the Beast. So, what so that were all the animatics that they released um, of the original stories that they were considering doing, but they did not end up actually doing. And boy, do I have thoughts. First of all, I think it's very clear that when it comes to issues at Disney that a lot of people have been debating about recently and how they kind of lost their magic, which by the way, not everything Disney has come out with recently has been bad. Like for example, Encanto is a very recent product and it's one of my favorite Disney films ever. It's one of my favorite films ever. But in terms of this like hit or miss and how it seems like they don't really know what direction they're going into, I don't think it's the fault of the writers. What this looks like, since there were so many different concepts being presented here, is that they started with one concept, execs didn't like it, they came back with another concept, execs didn't like it, and they kept going and going and going. And that's pretty normal for a film. But what's the most disappointing is seeing how far off this 
original concept was compared to what we ended up actually getting because i'm assuming the whole like star being like a boy thing was like the original thing and then we ended up with what we ended up getting i really liked star having a character i really love seeing evil amaya and i hate that they ended up getting rid of both of those things and i know that a lot of the fans are also equally as disappointed i think it's really indicative even on youtube like literally just look up like wish animatics like look at this oh my gosh just seeing how cute their relationship is like or what it could have been like star and asha oh my gosh oh my gosh Ugh, it's so sad it is so sad something i think is also really fascinating is that it seems like disney still has those touches of like early disney as you saw me referencing a lot of like older disney films that you could see small references of in this these i was gonna say this movie in my head this is the movie like i keep saying in this movie in these deleted scenes and i love seeing this like early 2000s and even 90s disney goofiness kind of shine through again that's been lost i feel like in a lot of the recent movies Truthfully, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that they no longer do traditional animation and instead they do CGI animation. And I think the biggest teller that is such a loss that is very evident through all of these animatics that could have even been done in the final product, assuming we're not even doing a star as a guy or as a shapeshifter, we're not even doing a Maya as evil what happens to all the characters that we did get what happened to their characters asha had so much more personality in all these clips sabino had so much more to offer there just seemed like so much more depth in all of these clips and it's very disappointing to see what we ended up getting when this is what could have been and this has been a wider issue in the animation industry as a whole this happened also in the recent kung fu panda movie where there was a lot of conversation with the animators and writers where they wanted specific things done but the execs kept telling them no and it was very clear the things that they wanted done would have had a much better film a more developed film and i think fans would have liked the most recent kung fu panda movie even more compared to, you know, the okay movie that we ended up giving. And I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope that the execs at Disney are seeing this reaction to wish how people love what could have been and start to trust their writers way more because it's very clear that they don't know their audience as much as they think they do. Honestly, Disney, hire me. A lot of the things that I put in my rewrite, like ended up being in like these concepts so it's like clearly a lot of people had really good ideas for this film but i know who didn't have good ideas for these films y'all because what the heck was that that we got but anyway that is all i have for my video today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this and you want to see more content like this from me consider subscribing i'm a tiny little channel and i'm just trying to grow here on youtube so if you subscribe also consider leaving a like and a comment because that really really helps the algorithm i really appreciate you watching and i hope you enjoyed so i will see y'all in the next video goodbye y'all